EPA WA Meteorologist Bobby Marchett here with your outlook for January 29th, 2019. We have some snow coming into the region today. This is not a major storm by any means, but we will have uh, an area of low pressure that is now cutting into the Great Lakes, and that has already happened. We have a cold front that's associated with it extending back here like this. So just looking at this morning, uh, we have some light snow coming in early this morning. It actually started overnight in our western counties, but I think the stuff happening in the western counties and what you're seeing there early this morning is going to be cutting off, and that'll be it for you. It's really further east that we're dealing with. Uh, some redevelopment along that frontal boundary and the frontal boundary itself getting hung up a little bit uh, and that area low pressure moving along it is going to be very weak but it's going to be there and enough of a presence to cause a little bit of added lift and that gives you more snow in the eastern far eastern parts of the state so areas for across the Poconos Lehigh Valley all the way down into parts of interior southeast PA I don't want to say all the way in southeast PA I don't think you're going to get um, as much as further north but still parts of it in northern bucks northern montgomery maybe northern uh you know obviously berks county northern uh, lancaster county northern york county you can still get us some decent amounts from this all right so i'm going to move this forward here and go to the afternoon and uh we have this it looks like the front is going to continue off to the east and that'll be it but we have this weak area very weak area of low pressure forming along the boundary it's right here we showed this in yesterday's video too uh, it's enough of a presence that is going to, as this moves up to the north and east, instead of allowing this snow just to disappear, which is right here, it's going to back build a little bit and increase. Okay, uh, that's what's going to happen uh, during the course of the afternoon, all the way into the evening, and then it finally will dissipate. So you go to the next frame here, you see it expand right there, and that's because this uh, area of low pressure moves along the boundary. But this is just benefiting the uh, far eastern parts of the state and then as this pulls away it will pull away it's not going to take too much time to not pull away but as it does so rain areas that were further east and southeast will change over to snow quickly on the back end and you get some coatings to an inch from that but let's get over to the nam high res future simulated radar and i'm gonna start this off at 3 a.m i'm backtracking this a little bit and the reason i'm doing that is to show you what's going on here in central pennsylvania that time it has not made uh, made its way to the eastern parts of the state, but that will be changing in the hours that follow this. Here's four, five, six, seven. Uh, so here's seven o'clock in the morning. It gets over to the eastern side of the state here. Uh, Lehigh Valley just to get getting started here. Uh, parts of uh, northeast, actually most of northeast PA is included in this, but you see it starts uh, as snow pretty far south here, going all the way to northern Maryland. I think it is, that is the case that you're going to start off as snow, but it, you know some of these areas will change over to a mix of rain and snow. Uh, at some point, and then go back to snow before it ends. But look at central Pennsylvania, cutting off here. You're cutting off the precipitation as everything continues to move eastward, and guess what? You're not going to get into that second round. So whatever has fallen in uh, place in State College by 8 o'clock is likely, you're luckily, that's that's it. And including our, you know, areas just south of there, all the way down to Franklin County. Uh, nothing really to uh, to speak of at past eight o'clock because once you go except maybe for a few flurries or lingering lingering flurries this is uh looking at 9 a.m here now here is 10 it looks like it's starting to weaken and the front's going to go away but wait a minute there's going to be a low pressure that's going to form along this boundary and it's going to enhance this rainfall or snowfall so it looks like it's going away and then all of a sudden it picks back up again see that fill back in that's because that area of low pressure is moving along the boundary and it fills back in and expands and you get more snow this afternoon this is 1 p.m we're looking at right here Here's two. Here's three. Now it's getting moderate and even in some cases heavy. But you're getting rain on the southeastern fringe here. So, uh, Southern Bucks, Southern Montgomery, Eastern Chester, Delaware, Philadelphia, most of New Jersey. It's just getting some light rain, but rain nevertheless. Delaware. Okay, this is when that low pressure is moving by. And then it uh, continues through the late afternoon. Here's 5 p.m. Still going moderate to at times heavy in the interior. And that's why you're getting these higher accumulations here. And then as we move through the course of the evening here, 7 p.m. is starting to move eastward and move out of here. But as it's doing so, it's changing this rain over to snow. See that? Moving eastward, here's 9 p.m., finally moving out of the eastern part of Pennsylvania. But as it's doing so, it changes to snow for areas that were rain. It goes all the way to the coast like that. See that? Getting into uh, interior South Jersey, North Jersey, you're getting into that snow here. It's just moving all the way out, and then it gets all the way to the coast by 11, and then it's out of here by midnight. Okay, so that's your system. That's what we're dealing with. And you can look, look at the weather alerts map and uh, map and check out exactly what our totals are. I don't think we're changing a darn thing, especially since some areas are already snowing this morning. 
We had our final uh, look at this last night. I really wouldn't change anything. The only where area I need to watch really is uh, the. No, it's not showing in here. Let me get to this image here. Let me get back here. The areas I want to watch. Uh, we included this area right in here as a one to three area that included northern Bucks, northern Montgomery, northern Chester. That was just like a one to three area. I wouldn't be surprised if you go four to five inches there too. It's going to be very close. You're right on that line. So don't be surprised if that area there does overperform. But we allow for that. So we have, there might be a few overperformers, but nothing crazy. I think this is a pretty cut and dry system. Not too difficult to forecast. And so our map should be pretty, pretty solid here. Uh, going beyond this point, we're going to get some uh, snow squalls coming through here on Wednesday morning afternoon. We have a reinforcing front coming through in a short wave. And you can see that here. It doesn't look like much on the global models. But when you put this through here in motion, on uh, Wednesday. Here's Wednesday morning. Here's 10 a.m. Here's 1 p.m. Look at this. Looks like a thunderstorm squall line, and it will be. It's going to be convective, like, convective in nature. That's what these snow squalls are. Just intense 15 to 30 minute bursts of snow that's like a, you know, like you have thunderstorm in summertime. You get these heavy bursts of snow that, you know, looks like, our, in a, sorry, in summertime, it's heavy torrential downpours. But just imagine that falling in snow. So you're getting like these two to three inch an hour rates. For 15 to 30 minutes is not for a very long time and you also get some pretty high wind gusts during that time to time frame too one solid line maybe some some uh, uh secondary lines trying to form behind it and that's going to continue eastward go all the way to the coast here i don't have the in-between hours but you get the idea all right and that's going to be uh generally wednesday morning into uh probably mid-afternoon by, by the coast and then that's out of here all right that's your window it's going to get breezy as this moves through uh temperatures are going to fall as well and it's going to stick on all surfaces rapidly as soon as it hits. And it's going to be one of those blinding snow squall type things where you can't really see. Visibility is very poor. And if you're not ready for it, it can cause accidents. All right. So that gets brutally cold here on Tuesday night. Or excuse me, Wednesday night. Temperature going to get below zero in many locations for low, sub-zero lows. And, uh, and then we get to Thursday. You're getting uh, not out of the single digits and maybe lower teens in some areas. And that's it at best. For highs, so it's very cold here on Thursday. The only caveat to that is it's not going to be windy. And then Friday, another weak system moving off to our south. We'll have to keep an eye on here. GFS has, has continually shown something here with this where it brings this light snow to our southern areas. It wouldn't be much, but it's something we have to keep an eye on because Delaware is getting involved in here with some couple inches out of this, if this is correct. So we'll keep an eye, keep a close eye on that for shifts further north. Uh, it's awfully close to just ignore, so we're going to keep it mostly cloudy here on Friday. Still cold enough to support snow everywhere here on Friday and certainly Saturday too, but Saturday is a mostly sunny day. But then we have warm up here as high pressure moves off the coast here on Sunday. Temperatures are going to get up into the um, upper 30s, 40s uh, for highs here, probably 40s here on Sunday for highs. But we do look like it's going to, it does look like it's going to be dry for the majority of the day. And then we get into the evening, we could have a few showers moving in in the overnight period. Uh, and that goes right into uh, Monday with a few showers possible there, Tuesday, Wednesday. This could be an unsettled period, but it looks like it's just going to be rains. It is at a time we are expecting a warmer uh, week to come in. Next week's going to be warmer, milder than this week, certainly. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for January 29th, 2019. Have a great Tuesday.